it. Thank you. Hey, well, here we are, all set up. I found the most beautiful spot. I'm going to take you for a little bit of a walk later on and show you around a bit. The rain's coming and going. I've got myself here nice and early because there's quite a lot of rain forecast. <laughs> You're trying to sit on me. She's just making sure she's getting into the shots. Hey Indy, I've got something for you. Can you come sit? I've got something for you. I've got a treat. I have got a treat. It's not actually from me. It's from these guys. Yeah? We'll give them some thanks later on, but this is a treat for you. Bought by your fans. Would you like it? I'm going to give Indy a treat. I've carried a bone up here for her. And I'm going to let her go off and eat that while I finish getting set up. And then it's going to be time to make a drink because I am really thirsty. It's been um, a big morning getting myself in here and getting set up. And as I was saying before, <laughs> good waiting, good waiting darling. As I was saying, there's a lot of rain forecast for later on and we're even going to get some snow overnight. Oh, are you? Oh, that's, that's a beautiful asking. Would you like your bone? Okay. Wait. No, wait. Okay. Now she might take that far away. Or she might stay here. Usually she takes it far away so nobody can steal it, but I'm not sure she's all that threatened by me. Seeing as I am the giver of food, I'm also allowed to be the taker away of food, but... Oh. Are you going to demolish that? I hope not. No, she shouldn't be able to. It's a um, lamb bone designed for dogs, so can't be splintered. But she's going to make a good, a good job of that. Well, it's definitely raining quite steadily now. I can hear it on the tarp. I'm going to get everything set up in the tent. Let you guys stay and watch Indy and watch the view and then um, I'll catch up with you when I'm making myself a drink.
thanks for joining us on this lovely rainy camp. I'm really looking forward to this. It's raining lightly, it's beautiful and moody. And I'm going to take the opportunity while it's only raining lightly to go and chop some firewood for tonight and also to go on a little bit of an adventure. I'd really like to head further up the valley and see what's up there and I thought you might like to come on a trip with me as well. We'll take the drink bottle, fill that up with water from the river on the way and just go and have a look at this beautiful area. I don't know if you can hear the river down there. We're in this beautiful valley and then there's this river that drops off just down here. You can probably just make out camp in the background. The mountains in the distance. There's heaps of birds just listening to all the lovely sounds. So that's where we're heading. I'm going to go up the valley. I'm going to follow the side of the river and see what I can find. Just go on a little bit of an exploration. I like to have a look at places when I go and camp there because you never know what other opportunities there are for other camping spots. And I'm just taking this moment while it's only raining lightly. Forecast is for much heavier rain. So I want to go and stretch my legs, have a little bit of an explore, a bit of an adventure. sure how far down I need to go except to say that I know the track crosses the river so worst case scenario I'll keep going until I find where the track crosses the river from oh yeah this looks familiar <laughs> that's good and that cut out some of the worst or the hardest bits so that's good It's a nice thing when you've got a river, it's a really easy way to navigate. As long as you know where the river is going. Apologies. Okay, so next thing on the agenda is to make a fire pit and get some firewood. 
So as soon as I get back to camp, I'm going to crack into that. I'll see you then. This is so beautiful. There's a little creek here. <laughs> if I'd known that, I could have got my water from here. It's so beautiful. Hi Andy. Oh, I've put another layer on. So I've now got a merino wool base layer, mid layer and top layer with this down vest. I still have my full down jacket which I'll put on a bit later. It's really cooled off though, and I think because I'm not moving around, it is really cold. So Indy and I are sharing a little lightweight sleeping bag, <laughs> aren't we? And I've also put a warm coat on her as well. So she's got her waterproof one and a warm one. I wonder if you guys noticed the really lovely waterproof coat she had on earlier. You can just see it peeking out there. So I just wanted to say a very special thank you to five of you who um, gave Indy and I a couple of dollars using the thanks button, the YouTube thanks button, which is just underneath the video by the subscribe button. Thank you so much to those five people who have donated 
a little bit of money to us. We really appreciate it. And with that money, I've put it towards Indy's coat. And I also, I'll show you what else I got. Oops, sorry, Indy. Oh. I've been using my um, pots as plates. So I got this Sea to Summit bowl. And what I like about it is I think I'm going to use it as a chopping board as well so I can chop things up, prepare them on there and then turn it into a bowl. And the other thing I got is this little set here. Who's this by? Oh, that's a Sea to Summit as well. Sea to Summit knife, fork and spoon. Because my spork, my green spork that I've been using is broken. So thank you so much you guys. Thank you to Erin's Prophetic. Thank you to Dark Rose. Thank you to Linny Lowe. To Frederick Bianmar. And to Aaron Gray. Thanks guys. Thanks so much. There's probably others of you but uh, it takes me two weeks by the time I've um, filmed and then edited a video. So in that period of time, if there's others of you who have given us something via the super thanks, then thank you so much. And I will let you know in the next video what I put that money towards. But yes, India is nice and dry as a result of her lovely jacket. So she says thanks so much, guys. And thank you for coming along on this trip with us. I hope you're enjoying yourself. It's so relaxing. I'm going to finish my tea and I'm going to carry on reading my book and then in about an hour or so I think it's going to be time for a wine. Time for a wine, time for some snacks.
oh, that's so much better. Oh, I was getting really cold, so I decided it was time to light the fire. I can tell I'm going to need a whole lot more firewood, so at some point, if we get a break in the weather, I'm going to go back up and get some more. I just need the really big bits, the stuff that requires quite a lot of sawing, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, it's one o'clock. I'm going to actually get my cup for this. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. Ah, oh, I can see snow up on the mountain that's just up here. Let me show you. I wonder if you can see it though. Can you see that just in the middle of the frame? So that wasn't there earlier and now there is snow. So that's a couple of hundred metres further up. But it is due down here at about 6 p.m. And it's quarter to four. I told myself I would wait until four o'clock before I had a wine, but I just, <laughs> I can't wait any longer. It's wine o'clock. I can see a drip coming off the tree and landing right on the inside of the lens hood. I'm not sure if that's going to get in the way of the image. Let me move you slightly. Here we go. Oh. If I move this wood over a little bit, I can move over too. So I've still got some kindling and some smaller pieces of wood, but I'm going to save that for the morning because if it snows overnight, I am going to be very cold in the morning. And I think that's when I'm going to really appreciate a fire. And I'm not hurrying off tomorrow. If you've watched some of my other videos, if you are familiar with my channel, sometimes I have to get going early in the morning. I have a family and a job and life often demands that I get back to my responsibilities. But tomorrow is the King's birthday, so good old King Charles. I mean, it's not his actual birthday, but in New Zealand, we celebrate the King's birthday on, I think it's the first Monday of June. Does that work out? Anyway, it usually seems to be about the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, something like that. So happy birthday, King Charles. Tell you what, these are amazing. If you like mushrooms, it's a shame actually. I prefer to buy things that are made in New Zealand, but these are from Australia. So if you're from Australia, you'll be able to get these as well. DJ and A shiitake mushroom crisps. Absolutely beautiful. Cheers everybody. Thanks for coming along on this camp. Thank you so much for joining Indy and I. 
We really, really appreciate the support that you guys give our channel. It's really heartwarming, all the lovely comments that people leave. Really appreciate those. Appreciate you subscribing. I just appreciate you watching, so thank you so much. forward to my dinner. For dinner tonight we've got pasta. I brought fresh pasta. I'm trying to think what sort of pasta it is. Mm. Linguini I think. <laughs> I'm showing my ignorance. Fettuccine, linguine, something like that. The flat, the fat, flat kind of ribbon pasta. You'll see it. I forget what it's called. I can't remember everything that I have brought to put on the pasta, but all will be revealed. Uh, I know I've got fresh basil and some basil pesto, some marinated peppers, I've got an assortment of different tomatoes, and olive oil and lots of garlic, it'll be lovely. And I'll probably have a fairly early dinner, just so I can make use of the light. It gets dark quite early here. I think I might start cooking at about 5 o'clock. In about an hour. Did I say it was dinner time? Well, I said it was nearly dinner time. Do you think near enough is good enough? Would you like your dinner? Oh, yes. All right, well, it's probably about half an hour too early for Indy's dinner, but what the heck? Are you warm under there, pup? Oh, you are. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's good. Come on, then. Let's get your dinner. This looks great, doesn't it? Use this state-of-the-art spoon. Let's try and get as much out as we can, Indy. For your sake, and so I don't have to carry it back. <gasps> Yum! Okay. I love using things up when I'm camping. It means I don't have to carry it. <laughs> don't have to carry it back. 
even just that small amount of dog food. Every little bit helps. Okay. I think I might get started on my own dinner. Okay, dinner time. Between the steam and the smoke, I doubt you can see anything. I have some good news. I have got a light coming, a camera light, so you'll be able to see more of what I do in the dark. Oh, that looks beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, but that pasta is beautiful. Homemade vegetarian sauce. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of mozzarella cheese. On top just to make it nice and creamy. Ok 
Okay, everyone. I'm going to enjoy my dinner while I watch the fire. Good morning, Indy. Good morning. Oh, it's fresh this morning. It is cold this morning. <laughs> Careful, you're going to roll onto the cooker. Okay, first things first, I'm going to make a coffee and um, give this girl some breakfast. Do you want some breakfast? Yeah. Do you think I should give you breakfast before coffee? Of course you do. Right, let me just get the coffee in there and then I'll give you breakfast. Actually, that's probably the right amount. Hey. Okay. 
I brought enough coffee to have two. We'll see how we go, but I thought I might be stuck here for a while this morning if the snow that had been forecast had arrived. You know there was 25 centimetres of snow forecast to fall below this level, but um, we're an island and as such, a mountainous island as well. So the weather that gets forecasted is often not perfectly correct. Most of the time it's not because it's so changeable. Once the weather systems hit the land and then come up over the mountains, it can change. So we did get snow. You can see all around us. It's absolutely beautiful. Up at the top of the mountains we got snow, but not down this low. Which I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed by actually. I was really hoping to test out my tent in the snow. Careful pup, come go this way. I'll get her her food while I'm talking. I wanted to test out the tent in the snow and I was also actually really looking forward to just the beauty of having the snow around. And the walk out this morning was gonna be really interesting. I even bought really heavy duty gaiters. And um, I even packed extra food into the car in case I got back there and the roads were closed. But it is the first week of winter. Sit. Which means there is plenty more time for a snow camp. Oh, yuck. You're drooling. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, sweetheart. Give you an extra special little treat. Good waiting. Good waiting. It's going to be worth it. Okay, that will satisfy Indy, and a coffee's going to satisfy me. What do you say I make a coffee and then we go for a wander? Now, milk. Well, it's a bit of a Bushman's coffee, but it smells delicious. It looks delicious. Oh, and it tastes delicious. Okay, should we go for a walk, Indy? Let's go and have a look around. Coming? Hello. Hi, beautiful. You going adventuring? I ain't going adventuring. Come on, pups. Let's go and have breakfast. Food is such a big part of being in the outdoors. Like you really look forward to it. 
I think there's something very sort of survivally about setting up shelter, lighting a fire and eating food. Well, it's time to pack up. The pack up is just as important as the setup. It's important to make sure that you leave no trace. It's the responsibility of enjoying such a beautiful spot. The responsibility is that you make sure that the fire pit is pulled apart, the ash is buried if they're still hot, although these have had sleet and rain on them all night so they can be scattered. Make sure there's no rubbish. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to pack everything down. Get everything put away in my pack and get ready for the walk out. I've got the tarp over there in the sun drying. And I think what I'm going to do with the tent is once I've got everything out of it, I will pick it up and shift it over into the sun as well. That's the nice thing with this tent is it's pretty much freestanding. Right, I'm all packed up and ready to go, the only thing I need to do is put the tripod and the camera away. You can see I've got a really full pack and I also actually bought a bag that I'm wearing over my front as well for all the electronic gear and all the extra stuff that I needed for a winter camp and for Indy to come with me. Fortunately it's not too far to get out, I've got about an hour's walk thereabouts hour and a half something like that thanks everybody for coming on this camp with us we hope that you had as much fun as we did it was awesome wasn't it I really really enjoyed the rain yesterday it was lovely just chilling out lovely exploring this area and so magical to wake up to a beautiful morning nice clear crisp morning with snow on the mountains it's going to be a beautiful walk out and um, Indy and I look forward to seeing you on the next trip. So thanks you guys. Um, don't forget to press that like button to show YouTube that you liked the video to see more of our content. And if you're not subscribed, think about subscribing. That way you get to know when our videos come out. Hey guys, thanks so much. I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Are you telling me you're ready to go? Okay, let's go. Get your ball.